probably like, why are you still talking about your breakup? It's been like three, four months. More than meets the eye or meets imagination, yeah. Cause I'm more than just a woman. Hi guys, Sandy here and welcome back to my channel. So today is a lovely day to vlog. I haven't posted a video for like almost two weeks. Wait. What I was saying, um, I haven't posted a video for like two weeks, but I'm back. I just took a mini break. During this mini break, I went to Chicago and I just like, you know, had fun. But today's video is gonna be a vlog, but it's also gonna be like a QA mixed in one because I like videos where I can talk to you guys all day because like I feel like I could talk forever. But I know you guys like videos where I'm vlogging, so it's really just like the best of both worlds. I look freaking cute as heck today. What do you guys think? Gotta show the Nike logo. Oh, yes. Anyways, yeah, let's get started. Um, today I do have to run some errands, so I've got to go to take the COVID test. This is gonna be my third time taking it, but I'm taking it again because I just got back from Chicago. I just want to make sure that I'm okay. This is really just like for the safety of my family, so that they know I'm not sick, and also like if I hang out with my friends, they know I'm not sick too. I know I don't got it, but shoot, I gotta take the test anyways, you know. Other than that, um, I also have to go to the DMV. So I still need to do some title changes or whatever for this car and then later we're gonna go to have dinner with my family just like my immediate family like my mom dad siblings because it was my dad's birthday recently and i'm treating my family out for dinner so yeah that's basically it but we're gonna do a q a hold on though i need to go grab something real quick i'll be right back oh my gosh she's huge you see that pimple I just went inside the house to grab something and I came back in the car and I looked like I was in the best mood in my entire life like I was just like yeah, woo right I was walking out the house and I was just like boom I saw a four leaf clover and I was like oh my god guys I damn near found like 10 four leaf clovers four leaf clover guys literally this is a sign from the heavens here's another one one two three four is y'all seeing this this one is a five leaf clover golly these are clovers right so y'all seeing this there was more on the ground i just didn't pick them but oh my god but if they're not four leaf clovers i'm gonna look stupid okay today we is running errands but i also need to go get a car wash because that trip to chicago literally made my car so gross so i'm currently in the cbs parking lot but i'm gonna wait for like 20 minutes and then i'm gonna take my test <laughs> I'm not excited actually. Why do I sound so excited? Anyways, I'm gonna be answering some of you guys' questions throughout this day. Um, I actually just went to Best Buy. I need to buy something, but like, I, they sold out, so I couldn't get it. All right, we're gonna answer some juicy questions. All right, so I'm gonna answer a lot of like YouTube kind of questions and also like life, relationships, everything. Like you know, so this is gonna be like a girls' talk kind of video. Anyways, um, the first question is, or how many days do you work on your YouTube channel per day? like including editing and stuff like that um okay so you guys know i usually post one time a week like one video each week when i'm in a good mood i post like two or three like i really don't have a schedule i just post whenever i want you know when i do make videos and i have to edit depending on the video it could take around three to like two hours it really depends you know because every video has like a different amount of effort i need to put in and in case you guys are wondering i use final cut pro to edit my videos shit was expensive but there's ways to get it for free Free, by the way Shar did that I didn't know yeah I'm stupid so as you guys know I just came back from Chicago and I've gotten a lot of questions as to like who I went with <laughs> oh my god um I actually went with one of my friends uh, I'm not gonna let you guys know who this person is just because they don't want to really like <laughs> reveal their identity but it's not like I'm dating or anything or talking to anybody new if that's what you guys were wondering your girl's still single as a Pringle <laughs> but yeah that's just you know the honest truth a lot of you guys also were wondering Wondering about my ex questions like why we broke up or like how I was able to get over him and like you know what I did to just kind of like give my confidence again and not be sad no more so number one the reason we broke up honestly like this is like my conclusion at this point since I feel like I've grown since the breakup I felt like in that relationship I was losing a lot of my sense of like independence so the reason I broke up with him was so that I could kind of just like you know grow develop become a more like independent mature woman i feel like 
I relied on my ex so much that I couldn't really even go to the store without him because it just kind of became normal for us to just like go places together. Like in reality, like I want to be able to do things on my own too, you know? So that's also why I'm not going to be dating for a really long time. At least, you know, that's where my head is at right now. I just don't want to date right now because I feel like when I date, I put in so much effort and sometimes that could be a good or a bad thing. For me, like at least from what I could tell in my last relationship, I feel like it wasn't really the best thing because then it would distract me from things that are more important like you know focusing on my career or something like that that really matters to me like I feel like I put in so much time in the relationship that it kind of just like made me distracted from what I really really want to focus on that being said I don't blame him for anything it's all me you know these are all my decisions and that's why I chose to be single because I know that being single is when I bring out the most potential out of myself and I feel like I'm just so productive these days I have so much time for myself <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying yeah that's basically why we broke up that's the most like common question I've been asked and yeah it's nothing like tension related or anything it's really just like based on my own self-independence type of thing now that we're on this topic how I kind of grew past that while well, this is gonna be a long video I feel like I really got over my ex because I feel like towards the end of the relationship which this is totally fine if you felt this way too and you guys know I'm very honest with you guys so I just tell you guys how I feel as it is yeah I just pray you guys understand where I'm coming from I feel like towards the end of the relationship I was really like you know I was ready to leave and that's why it was easy when I broke up with him to get over him because I feel like I was already in my head I was already out of the relationship a little bit like you know like, I loved him a lot but like I feel like I wasn't really in love with him in the end anymore like before I broke up with him I was watching a lot of videos to mentally prepare myself and people were like yeah like you know you mentally fall out of love with the person and I feel like that's what happened oh my god if you guys don't watch best dress you guys should watch her videos she's literally like my big sister like I watch her videos and she she literally guides me she talks about so many important topics that like women don't really hear or are not comfortable with talking about so yeah if you guys want better advice I swear just go watch best dress like me and Shar we religiously watch her videos because she's literally such a a good at least a lot of her videos I feel like she's a really good role model how I was able to become confident I really just spent a lot of time doing the things that I wanted to do you guys know I made a dream board I finally was able to focus on it and then I made a new dream board so that I could make new goals so that every day like I wake up I'm not thinking about the relationship anymore or the breakup I'm thinking about what I can do next to make my goals happen that's my mindset and so every day I kind of distracted myself with doing like work stuff or like hanging out with my friends because I feel like I didn't hang out with my friends enough with, when I was with my ex you know just focusing on the things that really really matter to me so yeah that's how I kind of got over him I just distracted myself and before you know it you're kind of just over it at least for me yeah like I just like kept my head straight like you're gonna finish all these goals and you're not gonna think about your ex that bitch I was I'm just kidding you know, like, like mentally set your goal guys if you guys want to leave your ex or your man or like stop thinking about them set your goals and you guys are probably like why are you still talking about your breakup it's been like three four months guys i was with him for like four years so obviously he was a big part of my life so breaking up with him is kind of just like you know that's a big chunk of my life i feel like i just answered the most juiciest questions you guys were asking me but guys i have more juicy questions i think <laughs> anyways uh, i'm gonna take my covid test in 10 minutes so i'm gonna go inside and hopefully they let me film inside if not it's okay um yeah Okay. And then make sure you're doing those circular motions or twisting it, whatever's more comfortable for you. Yeah. Um, we don't want you to feel any pain at all. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, you're all done. Oh, it just don't get easier, you know what I mean? Oh. Now I'm gonna go to the DMV because I gotta do all this car stuff. I'm at the DMV. It's over there. See those people waiting? Oh my god. So I'm gonna wait over there. I'm not gonna bring my camera. Also, my mask is cute, right? I feel like a rainbow ninja or something. Anyways, um, yeah. I'll be right back and then we can go get the car wash because my car is it got dead bugs on it right now. So yeah, I'll be right back, baby girl. I just came back from the DMV and I'm getting a car wash now. For those of you guys who know a lot about cars, I don't want to hear it. Usually people are like, you shouldn't be in the car wash. 
she scratches your paint. Well, my mom, she told me to come here. It is what it is. I'm doing touchless. Oh my God, am I doing touchless? Oh my God, I don't think I am, guys. Oh my God. I don't know about you guys, but I get so excited over car washes. Yeah, this is touchless. Cause I don't see any of that fuzzy stuff around here. Car washes are the best time to pull out your best music and just start jamming. Yeah. I like you. Alright guys, I'm home. I'm back in my room. You guys want to see my dream board? So, this is the one I just made. This year, it's 2020, but this is also the board I'm going to be looking at for 2021. Girl cannot speak. I want to reach 500k on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. I want to make six figures before 2022. I already have my Mercedes, but I put it on there for inspiration anyways, but there's like a house behind it, so I would like to like get my own place one day. I want my own apartment. Yep. I want to do a lot of traveling. That's why you guys can see a lot of traveling things cuz like I said I did not drop out of school just to stay home. Anyways, if you guys have gotten to this point of the video, comment down below buttercup. <laughs> It's always the word I use, but yeah, comment down below buttercup if you've reached this point of the video so I know who the real ones are. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I make money, which I've already kind of talked to you guys about this, but like I get sponsorships and they pay me, so I do stuff, stuff for them. Um, I also make money, money off of YouTube. They email me and say, hello, I would like to pay you this amount of money for one Instagram picture. And then they pay me and I post a picture and you know, so that's that question and i just want to take this moment to say i love you guys you guys know i appreciate you guys so so much you guys are super super positive i love how you guys actually like my videos and it's kind of funny because sometimes i'll be watching my own videos like oh i am kind of funny but yeah just wanted to say i appreciate you bad bitches I'm gonna get ready for dinner and I gotta make sure that my family's outfits is on point because we are taking a family photo. Do you guys have the kind of family where you guys never take pictures together? Because I do. We have never not even once gone to a photo shoot to take a family photo. I don't know why. Excuse the mess in the background, but this is what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing my pants. These are from Yes Style. I'm wearing this fluffy top it looks like a thneed if you guys know um the lorax which i got from zara as well as this purse zara is currently my favorite store to shop at and then i'm wearing these heels these are also from zara super cute like i said in my other video like being my family member i'm so extra you know i like to make certain events more exciting than usual it's my dad's birthday though so this should be exciting gosh i feel like we've gotten too comfortable with just going to eat out no we gotta eat out and look cute isn't it so fun being my family member <laughs> my bundle is so cute we're gonna go have some dinner we are here at grill hall and i forced my entire family to dress on my cash everybody's right, wearing blue, blue. Not Anthony. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is the vlog. This is Harry Potter. <laughs> you look stupid. Nah, bro. These glasses are not it. I'm a nerd, bro. I have a 4.0 GPA. Anywho, uh, we're here eating. I don't even know where we are. Cheers to 200K. <laughs> 250, that's what I meant. Shout out to uh, Sandy. My sister, y'all didn't know. Introducing her, you know, uh, she's a special guest onto our podcast today. All right, I'm done. You look like you want to anime. I do. This is Mung Pepper, guys. They have Mung Pepper here. Our pets. I'm gonna answer a few more questions. Aha. This person said, how did you become confident or like a bad bitch and not care about how you dress or what you post? All right guys, so you guys know, like I have talked about how I became like 
confident it's really just like faking it till you make it like i say like i don't want to go too in depth about this because i talk about it all the time but like i feel like my confidence comes from how i speak to myself like you guys watch all my videos i'm always like oh my god i'm so cute like you know like this energy tricks me into really believing i am cute but that's the kind of things that you should be telling yourself anyways because you know it's a self-confidence thing and it makes you feel good like if you tell yourself i am not shit then you're gonna start feeling like you're not shit and then you're gonna start thinking like you're not shit and that's no okay fake it till you make it even if you're not feeling well just be like I'm a bad bitch and then bam you're gonna feel good like it's literally all on that and it's just practicing it and getting used to it so in terms of confidence in my fashion growing up I idolized Asian artists so that's where I get a lot of like my inspirations and fashion and confidence it's like all I'm watching like their music videos like k-pop was my shit like you guys also ask if I stand BTS hell yeah I do oh and Blackpink period growing up you go through those awkward stages you don't know what to wear as I started telling myself like yeah you a confident bitch I started wanting to wear clothes that make me feel good in my head like what I thought was cute is like singers all these pretty people like I wanted to look like them so that's why i wear the stuff i do because like i'm so inspired you know telling yourself you're confident and also wearing things that make you feel confident it hits guys it hits i don't know i'm just comfortable in things that make me feel good so that's why i'm comfortable in wearing things that are more like girly and stuff like that because it's just me for you guys wear whatever you guys want whatever makes you feel good you know i swear to the lords when you wear a cute outfit your energy hits different your energy just hits it just hits one day i will make a video where i talk about the topic of sex and love and things like that but i guess today i'll end the video like this i feel like there's so many more things that i could talk about but you know what i'll keep the more juicier questions for another video because i feel like that'd be so interesting that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like comment subscribe subscribe if you're not subscribed 50 percent of my viewers are not subscribed i don't know how that happened yeah i love you guys so so much thank you guys so much for all of the love and support you know it doesn't go unnoticed i see you guys yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Peace out. I got all these layers stacking up like Tetris. The depths of who I am cannot be seen in metrics. More than meets the eye or meets imagination. Yeah. Cause I'm more than just a woman. I'm more than just a person. I got all these dimensions.